Well, I'm down in my craft room and I was taking pieces of wood that we had, or slabs, and I was planing them uh, to get them ready to maybe do some art on them. And this one, I think is a piece of walnut, but it's so pretty, I, I want to use that wood for something else. And then this one, look at that! Oh, I love it, but it's too thick. And so we, we have a bigger bandsaw that I'm going to resaw this with, hopefully, but we're waiting on the blade to come. And then this one is like English walnut, I guess, but look at it! Whoa! It totally surprised me. And so now it's like, well, that's amazing. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with that one. Oh, I just love it. And then the last piece I had was this piece of juniper. And so I sanded it down and ran it through the planer to just flatten it a little bit. And then I've been drawing some stuff on it. So I drew some birch trees and some pine trees or evergreen trees, conifers, and now I'm going to wood burn it. And I'm going to paint it, but I found some colored pencils that I had, and there's a white in there. So I'm gonna try colored pencil after I do the uh, wood burning, and if it doesn't work, then I'll go to the paint. So I wasn't recording this because, I don't know, I was just, I just wasn't, but I thought I would after I got started. <laughs> After I got to this point, I'm like, oh, maybe I should just film it. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna start in the middle. Can't see it very well. Oh, while he's chasing a fly. He's chasing a fly. Did you get it, Wally? Did you get it? I don't think he did. So I, I was looking at other pictures of birch. Oh, a birch bird. <laughs> but see the birch trees, I just love that. So I took a whole bunch of them, which is that other one, I guess. And I'm just making my own idea from those birch tree ideas. They're just so cool looking. Don't you think? So I had drawn with a pencil some birch trees with those horizontal lines in the trunks that are like their signature, and then with a few branches here and there. Then some evergreens that are most similar to hemlock trees. And then I followed those lines with the wood burner. Now let's do some tress. Some tress in the wind. Some tress in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Trees in the wind is what I was trying to say. It's all explained in that movie, Nell. But anyway, then I did the same thing over these hemlock type conifer trees, filling in all the branches. Try the white pencil now. I was surprised the colored pencil was working on the wood but still wasn't totally sure about it. Hmm, not sure if this is white enough. Maybe it is. So I continued on with the white pencil, but then I did end up trying some paint on the trees at the end, and then decided to stick with the pencil and I wiped off all the paint. And here you can see a slight whiteness where the paint was that I'm coloring over with the pencil. Then I touched up some areas with the wood burner. And when I had it how I wanted it, I added a verse to the back using the ink transfer technique. I'm doing this uh, transfer like this because my wood burner is broken piece broke off inside of it. So I am rubbing the ink onto the wood instead, and I chose Acts 12.8. Put on your coat and follow me. Oh, look at that, it's working really well. Yay! And this transfer method doesn't always work for me. Ink. Yay, nice. 
nice. Right. And then let's go over here and put the elbow on this side. And this one worked too. I think smooth wood is a key. put polyurethane gel on this. This is Old Master's poly gel that I use on my intarsia and I love this stuff. Ooh. And now it's moved to the top of my list. But it didn't work here. Well, see right away that the colored pencil doesn't stay. Rats. It actually dissolved away the colored pencil. But I kept on applying it and I thought I could go back after it was all cured up and set up and sand and repaint the birch trees. But it bummed me out enough I walked away from the project for a few weeks. And this is one of the projects I messed up on that I talked about on my recent yeah. shop update video. But I did come back to it. Colored pencil is not gonna work. All right, so. Um, I was sanding this a little bit, and I think I'm just going to slightly sand over the entire thing to repaint these trees. You can see where the white survived, where I had initially tried to paint the trees, so acrylic and old masters must work together better than colored pencil and old masters. Or any polyurethane for that matter. Okay. So, hmm, white paint. White paint, that's what I'm gonna do, white paint. Okay, let's start here. I watered down the acrylic paint quite a bit to reduce the brush stroke marks. And then I painted each birch tree again. Okay, well, let's let that dry and then uh, See how it looks, and I'm probably going to go back over it with the wood burner. And this is how it looked after I painted it. All the wood burned horizontal birch tree lines are now white. So yes, I need to do more wood burning. I tried one of the trees and it works. I'm using this tip right here. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so this is another project where I did just about everything twice. But I enjoy wood burning and painting, so it was double the fun, I suppose I could say. It's working. I even did the hemlocks twice. Since I sanded these trees off some, I'm going to just go back over with this and fill in some of where it got sanded off. Then I applied the finish the second time. I used polyurethane spray this time with the help of Cyclone. All right. First we sprayed the back, then later we sprayed the front. Okay, another day, yay. Ah, and I like it, I like it. So I'm gonna put these on it. Coat rack things. And I'm gonna see whereabouts I should put them. Oops, make sure put them on the right way. And if we do one here. Ah, three. Maybe three would be better than four. I'm thinking that's what I need to do. Eight and sixteen. Yes. Okay. One. Eight and 16. Then I marked the drill holes with a pencil and pre-drilled those just a little bit. Then drove the screws in to securely hold those hooks. Okay, do, do, do. Woo, I think I like it. I think I like it. So now, to put it on the wall, I'm gonna figure out where the screws are gonna go. So I put one hole on each side for mounting to the wall. Okay. Well, let's put it up. 
Sarah. on there. Ah! Cool! Yay! I can hang my hat on there. Ah! So with this project I learned colored pencil, which works great, but it dissolves away with old master's finish. <laughs> so make sure that your finish and your colored pencil are compatible, uh, which I didn't, and it dissolved away, and then my birch trees weren't white anymore, they were just the color of the juniper. Which is okay too, but I wanted the birch trees to be white because they just look so cool white like that. Um, but good old acrylic paint and wood burn back over the top of it. So that's something else. Painting first and then wood burning seems to be better than wood burning and then trying to paint over the top of that. So um, yeah, I will probably paint first would burn second from now on. Maybe. <laughs> so I added the hooks on here to make it a coat rack, but you know I could have left it without the hooks on it and just made it, you know, a pretty piece of art, which I like because I really like birch trees. So thanks for joining me everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye!